Hello, my name is Eric Kigopian, and I'd like to talk to you about the Armenian American. For many years now, Armenians have been living in the United States. We have a growing population here, and it is no surprise that with the talent Armenians have, there have been many successful American Armenians. Whether they are singing, acting, writing, directing, or even playing professional sports, Armenians have made a name for themselves among the celebrities in America. So just who exactly are these people? What are their names and what have they done in their careers that made them so famous? Though the list is quite large, here are a few examples. Arshil Gorky was a very talented artist who was born in 1904 in the Ottoman Empire and fled to America during the Armenian Genocide in 1915. Although he only lived to be 44 years old, he was an accomplished artist whose work primarily revolved around the surrealism and abstract art. His work now hangs in many prestigious American art museums. Another famous American-born Armenian is someone who many football fans look up to. He was born in Akron, Ohio. His name is Otto Parsegian. Why would football fans look up to him? Because he was a college player and eventually one of the most well-known coaches. He coached the Notre Dame Fighting Irish, a very well-known Division I team. He was recognized as one of the best college football coaches, and in 1980, his name was placed in the College Football Hall of Fame. In addition, another famous Armenian goes by the name of Dr. Vadasad Kazanijan. He is considered the father of plastic surgery for prosthetic limbs. He worked a lot with soldiers from the First World War, replacing limbs taken by artillery, grenades, and other explosives. He was known to many as a miracle man of the Western Front. One of the world's greatest tennis players is Armenian. His name is Andrei Agassi. Born in Las Vegas, Nevada, Agassi is well known throughout the world for winning major tournaments such as the U.S. Open, the French Open, the Australian Open, the ATP World Championship, Wimbledon, and even won a gold medal in the Olympics. He was ranked the number one tennis player in the world in 1995. He did, however, have a dark side and turned to drugs to deal with the stress his life has given him. Now that we know of the famous Armenian Americans, we can move on to a different subject. What is the future of our culture here in the States, and how is the U.S. helping to keep this fascinating culture alive? The future of our culture, like every culture, relies upon the youth. There is a lot of funding by the U.S. government to help Armenian culture grow and prosper. They have organizations that allow us to play sports with other Armenians, and organizations that help Armenian education, health, and social issues in both here and in Armenia. There are two main Armenian schools in Massachusetts, which are the Armenian Sisters Academy and St. Stephen's Church, which offers classes on Saturdays. We have libraries, museums, cultural centers, and there is a genocide memorial being built in a park in Boston. In Fresno, California, we have an Armenian college, and in Cambridge, Massachusetts, Harvard University has a Society for Armenian Studies. We have over 100 churches and over 50 American-based Armenian organizations, as well as many schools from preschool to university. But all this funding and help alone will not keep up this culture that took nearly 2,000 years to create. So we are given the tools to keep the knowledge and traditions of our culture alive wherever we are. Now it's up to us to use it to our advantage, to use the resources available to us, to never forget who we are and where we came from.